a very good morning to my dear students of class 6 and I am glad to welcome you to my zoology class today. Let's get started. So the topic for today is breathing. It is from chapter 5. What is chapter 5? It is respiratory system, right? In our last class we have started this lesson and today we learned the topic called as breathing. What is breathing? Do you breathe every day? Every single uh, second you breathe, right? When our breath stops, we are no more and we are considered as dead, right? So, breathing is taking in of oxygen and giving out carbon dioxide which most of you must be knowing, right? So, about this only we are going to learn. What is there to learn in this? You already know, right? But in this process of taking in oxygen and giving out carbon dioxide, there are many steps and many changes happening in your lungs and in your ribs area. Okay, we will learn in detail in this lesson. So, what is breathing? Let us learn the definition first. What can you see in this image? See this man is taking in oxygen and giving out carbon dioxide. CO2 is carbon dioxide and O2 is oxygen. Okay. So let's uh, learn the definition. Breathing is defined as a process. It is a process. There are many processes happening in your body. No. So breathing, circulation, excretion, metabolism, they are all processes in your body. Okay. Similarly, breathing is also a process. In this process, what is happening? Air is taken in. You take in air and it is called as air is inhaled or you can also call it as inhalation. What can you call it? You can call it as inhalation or you tell that air is, air is inhaled. The process is called inhalation. Okay. And air is given out. Air is also given out. When the air is given out, it is called as exhalation. What is it called? Exhalation. Or you simply say that air is exhaled out. Through where you take in air and give out air? Through your nose, right? So the nose has a technical term called as nostrils. Nose is called as nostrils. So how can you define breathing? Breathing is a process where air is taken in that is called as air is inhaled and air is given out that is called air is exhaled out through the nostrils. Do you understand the definition of uh, or, um, breathing? So this is breathing. So in this picture it is uh, shown that uh, air is taken through the mouth and given out through the mouth. Okay, But it is taken through the nose or the nostrils only. So this is the definition. Now I told you, you know, there are two steps called inhalation and exhalation. About inhalation and exhalation we are going to learn in detail in this class. So I told you breathing in is inhalation when you breathe in right it is called as inhalation breathing out when you like this when you release the air out it is uh, exhalation okay so breathing in is inhalation let us learn the definition of inhalation first. So inhalation is again a process where air is rich in oxygen is taken in. So what air you take in? Your body prefers to take in the air which is rich in, rich means high concentration of oxygen is present, rich in oxygen and this air enter into your lungs through the nose. So the breathing's definition generally you study that air is taken out 
that is inhaled air is given out that is exhaled but the process of inhalation you have to specify that that air should be rich in oxygen and where it goes the air rich in oxygen will enter into your lungs this also you have to keep in mind so this is the definition for inhalation the process where air rich in oxygen enters into the lungs through the nose is called as inhalation definitions you need to memorize okay then let's see what is happening step by step in inhalation can you see something here what can you see here before that before um, learning about the process you should know the names of the uh, parts of your body okay in this area particularly what is all uh, there you should know only then you can understand when i explain what are these bones called as have you seen these bones in any picture or have you heard what it is what is this these bones are called as ribs what are they called they are called as ribs okay r i b s ribs and then can you see a red color region this red or orange color region is called as diaphragm what is it called diaphragm p h r a g m diaphragm okay so inside the ribs or rib cage only you have the lungs okay so during inhalation and exhalation process there are many changes going to happen in three parts of your body what are those three parts one is the rib cage or the ribs second is the lungs and third is the diaphragm okay so you should be familiar with these terms as well as you should know to locate these terms only then when i explain about the process you will know what i am talking about so let me rub this so the title here is changes during inhalation in all these parts there are certain changes taking place during the process of inhalation what are those changes the first change is the rib cage goes upwards and outwards which is the rib cage here i told you this is the rib cage this is the rib cage the bony structure no that is the rib cage during actually in this picture both inhalation and exhalation is given okay so now inhalation now exhalation inhalation exhalation can you see the changes so in inhalation what is happening the rib cage is going upward this is inhalation upward can it goes up no above so it is inhalation and also outwards what is outwards 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 means this way upwards and outwards see upwards as well as outwards this is the first point what other changes the diaphragm goes down which part is the diaphragm i told you this um red color region is the diaphragm right so the diaphragm goes down see when the rib cage goes up the diaphragm goes down see now it goes down because this is an inhalation stage okay so this is the second stage uh the third point is the volume of the chest cavity increases where is the chest cavity cavity means a empty space in your chest region where is the empty space see you have rib cage here inside that you have lungs and you have a empty space here no this empty space is called the um chest cavity okay what is given the volume of chest cavity increases when the rib cage goes upwards and when the diaphragm goes downwards you get more space or cavity in this chest cavity region so that is the third change happening during inhalation the last change is the lungs expand and fall in pressure see you have lungs inside right inside the rib cage you have lungs inside so during inhalation the lungs become 
bigger in size so during inhalation what happens can you see the lungs become bigger no so it becomes bigger so when this becomes bigger that is fall in pressure you have pressure in your body right not throughout your body in this region alone the pressure falls which means it becomes less or it drops down okay so when the pressure falls down the air or the oxygen from outside will enter into the lungs okay what did i tell you when the pressure falls down or drops the air from outside will rush inside we are going to do a activity today okay when you do the activity you are going to see through with your eyes that how when the pressure drops the lungs will expand when i explain you the activity part today you are going to see how this drop in pressure will make the lungs become bigger okay so this is all about inhalation what is the next one the next process is exhalation we have studied no so let's learn the definition of exhalation and then we'll also learn what are the changes happening in your body during the exhalation process okay so the definition is it is a process where air rich in carbon dioxide rush out of your lungs through the nose what is inhalation it is taking in oxygen and oxygen will enter into the lungs right so in exhalation the carbon dioxide in your body will rush out of the lungs it will rush out of your body and it will enter to the atmosphere through your nose okay so this is exhalation what is exhalation the process where air rich in carbon dioxide in your body will rush out of your body through the nose or the nostrils this is the definition for exhalation next similarly we will learn the changes during exhalation i have given the same uh, gif because see i told you alternative inhalation and exhalation is happening now inhalation exhalation inhalation when it goes up it is inhalation when it comes down it is exhalation inhalation exhalation clear so what are the changes the first change is the rib cage is downward and inward so it the rib cage which is the rib cage this these bones are the rib cages right so downwards it comes down no this is the exhalation condition so downwards and also inwards in inhalation upwards and outwards downwards and inwards upwards and outwards in inhalation downwards and inwards in exhalation clear just it will be the opposite in inhalation and exhalation if you memorize the points for one you can write in the other one then the diaphragm is up okay where the diaphragm which is the diaphragm the red color region is the diaphragm no during exhalation that is when rib cage is down the diaphragm is upward see diaphragm goes up now it is inhalation diaphragm goes up it is because exhalation then the volume of the chest cavity decreases in the case of inhalation the this areas uh, cavity region was higher in the case of inhalation no in exhalation it is opposite the volume of the chest cavity reduces because the size becomes small because the chest goes inwards the volume or the empty space also decreases in exhalation what else then then the lungs also reduce in size because of rise in pressure in inhalation it was opposite right the lungs size became bigger because of drop in pressure we have studied in inhalation whereas in exhalation the lungs become small in size because of the rise in pressure when there is when there is so much of pressure the size of the lungs is very small okay and then air or carbon dioxide goes out so whenever there is rise in pressure the gas in your lungs will be pushed 
outside your body through the nose okay so these are the changes happening in exhalation so what have we studied in today's class about the process of breathing which has both inhalation and exhalation right so now for today's homework what you are going to do you are going to do the model of a lung okay so lungs model you are going to do with the help of a uh, not a uh, with the help of three balloons you are going to do okay it is very simple just balloons if you ho have at home or in your neighboring um, shops all you can get you no know, balloons easily even in small shops you can get if possible please do now we are going to see how we are going to do the activity okay so this is the model what you are going to do with the help of a bottle and balloons you are going to do a lung like structure and demonstrate how breathing is happening in your body shall we start so after you finish your activity this is how it is going to be when you pull down the balloon will become big, big that is the lungs will expand okay so how you will do for this you need a 2 liter bottle it can be juice bottle two straws and three balloons okay two small balloons and one bigger balloon you can take and a cello tape or a duct tape which is strong you can take and some rubber bands you can have and also a scissors so these are the materials what you need to do today's activity so first what you are going to do is you are going to cut the bigger balloon okay you have three balloons now out of that the bigger balloon you will cut like this and you are going to place at the bottom of this bottle so cut the balloon and put it in the bottom side of the bottle and then what you will do after you place it you will stick well with the cello tape or the duct tape stick it very tight so that air will not come out through this space you are going to seal the space between the balloon and the bottle seal it tightly okay and now what you are going to do you are going to take two straws and the bottle's lid you will have no on the lid you will make two holes and then tie one small rubber band with the straw and the balloon together tightly everything should be tight otherwise air will escape out so to the other straw also another small balloon you can tie with the rubber band so tie it tightly and take both the straws along with the balloon and put it inside the lid of the water bottle i told you make two holes no inside those two holes you are going to put the straws so after you put the straws inside take one more rubber band and tie both the straws tightly together it should be very tight okay now put the setup into the big bottle put the balloons inside first carefully without tearing put it inside and then close the lid tightly now when you pull it down so this is the setup you can compare this with the trachea you have studied the structure of the respiratory system no so the straw is the trachea here and two small balloons is the bronchi and this green balloon is the diaphragm okay so trachea bronchi and diaphragm now when you pull the diaphragm down the lungs will become bigger so when you pull the diaphragm down the lungs is bigger in size this is the activity for you to do today okay so 
please do the activity it is fun as well as it is informative when you do and see you will experience practically because you don't see your lungs or diaphragm inside your body right so when you can uh, do such activities it will help you understand in a better way so every one of you please do and send me the video or the picture of your model to me okay and also for your homework read pages from 67 to 68 and the activity what i showed you now is in page number 68 and you can check for the procedure in your book also and try to do that is all for today's class and until i meet you in your next class you all take care and bye bye